Hello and welcome to my super lo-fi South Park vlog. I am. This is for season one, episode twelve, Mecha Streisand. And right now, I am in the office of my home, and I think I should film here more often because lighting's a lot better. But anyways, I haven't posted anything recently because I've been sick. Yay! So, I'll just make this really short and sweet. A couple firsts in this episode was the game Rochambeau, which kind of comes up in other South Park episodes, but not in the video game, which I find is interesting. So glad I don't have a... well, glad that I'm not a boy, and when I have kids, hopefully I don't have a son. I don't know. That I don't know why boys do that to each other all the time, just kick each other in the nuts. I don't know. I'll never understand. This is... okay, and another first in this episode is the first mention of John Elway, who is a football player for, I think, the Broncos. I could be completely wrong, and if I am, I know absolutely nothing about football. This is a soccer home, and my dad is freaking out over FIFA right now. So yeah, this is in, in this episode was the very first mention of John Elway, so that should be noted. Couple interesting things in this episode was the quadriplegic Swiss man on a pony. That should be noted. Another one was um, Sheila Broflowski was freaking over Barbara Streisand when she met Barbara Streisand, despite the fact she, at this point she was like this monster thing. And... Uh, just kind of a jab at Jews, sort of, I guess. Um, Kenny dies from being um, choked to death by a tetherball post-string thing. I was very terrible at that game as a child. Also, um, this episode really felt like a Power Rangers episode. I mean, um, I used to watch the Power Rangers growing up, and in the Power Rangers, like a lot of times, like these villains or whatever, they would come to life by putting stuff to, like by putting stuff together, or they come to life by, like, the main bad guys, like, casting a spell on something, and then that thing turns into, like, a gigantic monster. I just, if you watched Power Rangers as a kid, it, it makes sense. I realize I'm blabbering right now. But yeah, this episode felt like a Power Rangers episode. And also there was like a Japanese guy singing in the background every time someone was trying to destroy giant monster Barbara Streisand. And for me, the most interesting, interesting part of this episode was that they got Robert Smith of The Cure to, um, to guest voice, so... To me, that was important because I'm a huge fan of The Cure, and Cure's a great band, blah, 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 just go listen to them. But anyways, like, I found all of that really interesting, but a very big theme in this episode that I thought was the um, obsession with fame and power. I mean, like, Barbara Streisand in this episode, she did everything she... She basically, like, because of her obsession with, like, fame and wanting to be famous and powerful or whatever, she... T she like scoured the entire globe for like these triangle things and then she put them together and then she became this gigantic Godzilla like monster I guess you can say and it just I thought that it was a good point to make that some people they're so obsessed with becoming famous that all that they turn into something really really ugly and I think we've all seen that but anyways thanks for watching uh we made this super quick because, well, I, I watched this episode while I was sick, and I'm still pretty sick right now. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Well, less than five minutes. High five for me. Okay, bye.